welcome man welcome back to the channel man let's talk uh transmission transmission again let's talk uh specifically let's talk about the eight-speed transmission found in the chrysler 300 probably mostly the 2014 and up the rear wheel drive transmission for those lx cars uh, probably is going to be the eight-speed automatic transmission now as you know they do not want you to service this transmission and as you know i have a different op difference of opinion i think it's fairly fine <laughs> to service your transmission now they say it's a feel for life and uh the fluid should last for the life of the transmission wow okay some people out there are persistent they insist on servicing their transmission and I personally do not have a problem with it but if you're gonna do it you need to do it right now one thing I want to tell you they was they hammered home to us in the school or the class I took years ago on this transmission is do not add any kind of dye to this unit it's fairly hard to add anything to this transmission because the only entry port entry point uh, is here where you do the refill okay so there's another entry point as far as the cooler line goes. The cooler lines go from here to the front radiator uh, housing. That's where the transmission cooler is, okay? And not only that, um, as far as uh, fluid change, they don't even want you, they don't want you to change in the fluid unless it's contaminated. Just say uh, you get some water in it, somebody put the wrong fluid in it, brake fluid, or somebody put coolant in it. But back to my point, the only entry point on this transmission is through the refill hole right here so how is that even possible so I'm not sure they're looking for excuses as to why you shouldn't simply remove these bolts drain your pan and change your filter but the filter is integrated into the pan now I went to the parts department and priced out the complete pan and the fluid okay the fluid is like a hundred and uh, the fluid is like $35 a quart, okay? Depending on how much come out will determine how much you, that's needed. But the pan assembly it comes with all new bolts. And again, the filter is integrated into the pan. came out to around about $150. That is not bad at all. So if your transmission is out of warranty and it didn't, you lucked up and didn't have any problems, I say it's fine to service it. Get this whole pan out. Get you some new fluid uh, put in. Only use approved fluid, eight and nine speed transmission fluid. Okay, now I will do a video on how to properly check and add fluid to the car on a later video. But for the most part, a lot of people treat these like differential. They simply open it up and uh, fill it up until it comes out. That's fine, but you still need to let it down on the ground. That's a whole procedure you go through to make sure this is filled properly. They want you to go through all the gears second gear and back to park and back to reverse and hold the gears it's a it's a pretty lengthy uh situation but it's worth work worth it when you're trying to make sure you have the proper amount in your fluid all right that's all i have man I wanted to talk about eight speed transmission service should you do it uh not if you're under warranty because you likely will avoid your warranty because they will automatically assume you put the wrong fluid in it if you're out of warranty go for it just simply replace the pan it comes with a filter on it and new fluid this is where you add the fluid at i will show you in a later video the proper way to add fluid and you should be good man this is my opinion i'm entitled to that all right that's all i have man thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video